I love making Christmas decorations from scratch. I'm doing a Grinch theme. I saw this. Somebody on TikTok made these and it's so cute with a holographic. And yeah, so today we are actually going to be talking about how you can become better at prompting for your image generation. I know a lot of people saying they have a lot of issues and they feel like they can't get it done properly, but it takes a lot of practice and just watching what other people are doing and trying it for yourself. So first of all, we're going to go over into mid journey. Mid journey was the first AI image generator that I started using and it has a wealth of information. Yes, you do have to pay. Um, Yes, it can get expensive, but as you can tell, this is where all my information is, everything I've created. So if you go to the Explore page, you will see everybody's creations that they have made with AI, and it gives you the prompt, the job idea, everything. Now, I know a lot of people don't necessarily like this, but unfortunately, this is something that's open to the public. And if you want to make your stuff secretive, then you do have to pay for something called a stealth mode, I think it's called, and it's $60 a month. Anyways, let's start off with this prompt. It's so simple. Chair made of clouds, cloud chair, real cloud, real cloud chair, misty. I mean, that's pretty cute. You know, now if you put this prompt and put it into a different generator or you put it in mid journey again, you will not get the exact same thing. So don't feel like you're stealing from people because you can actually just copy this prompt and put it in any anything and you have something. Now, like I said before, a lot of people, they want to keep their stuff, you know, secretive. They don't want to share because a lot of people do a lot of research and practice and they want to sell the prompts, which is fine. But I'm just showing you here that you can actually just look at other people, what they're doing. Now, for example, this reminds me of like the dollar bills, the US dollar bills and stuff. But you see how detailed she, this, I shouldn't even say she, this person went in to create this. Now, I would have never thought to do this. I would never know all these wordings and contour line writing in parallel over the every face. Like, again, this is practice. Then you have a simple one where it's children marker drawing of a cat blue pen on white paper. That's so cute. Again, something that you can print out and put in a kid's room, very artsy and stuff like that. So let's go back and look back to the explore page and let's see what other stuff we can find. So there's a wealth of information here and you can actually, I think eventually be able to um, search. Now here is something that's very interesting. A horse scene from the side drawn by Leonardo da Vinci, ink drawing on paper. This is pretty cool. Now just a reminder, this could actually become very iffy because it is kind of quote unquote copyright kind of not copyright but it's inspired by Leonardo da Vinci I know there's a lot of debate on this online and forums and groups and this and that but for me personally I'm not 100% sure I would sell this because I just don't know like I just not 100% sure but I think this would be a nice print to have in your home especially for a masculine energy office and you put that print up like that's amazing so um, let's go back and see what else we can find. So that's, this is what I do. I look for things and I see how I can, you know, make it my own. Now, I love this one. This is a beautiful print that could be turned into an actual wallpaper in a bathroom, I see it. So you actually can copy the prompt, the job, the ID, the image URL, and you could copy it and save it in your wherever you save your notes and stuff like that. And you can go and create something like this. One thing I want to know is that this person used tile. So that's an option in mid journey so that if this became a repeated pattern on like wrapping paper, wallpaper, or anything of the like, then you can assure that it's going to be all the same image connecting together. So let's go on over to our favorite thing, which is chat GBT. So chat GBT has been my ride or die from day one. Um, ChatGPT 3.5 is a free service. Um, and ChatGPT 4 is something that you have to pay for. Now, ChatGPT will help you to create these prompts so that you can use them in other AI generators. All you have to do is ask it. Now, 
in of itself, asking ChatGBT what it needs can be kind of difficult. So we're going to say, I want to create an image of a horse that was inspired by Leonardo da, da Vinci. Um, Leonardo da Vinci. And I'm going to say, what kind of questions, what kind of things you need to have answered in order for you to create a pomp in an AI image software that's going to give me exactly what I want. So we're going to type all of this up into ChatGBT and let's see what it gives us. So looks like ChatGBT has a lot of questions for us. There's a lot of things it wants us to answer. So this will also help you to learn how to think about the descriptive words and the things that you need to put in a prompt so that you can get what you want. So it actually gives us a prompt for us to use. So we're going to copy and paste that. Like again, more free information. And then we're going to go to ChatGBT4, which again is a paid um, app or software, whatever the case may be, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to input that in there and we are going to press go and let's see what it creates for us. So this is what we got. We got this photograph in the style of Leonardo da Vinci and we use a prompt that ChatGPT gave us and I think it looks beautiful. Now, me personally, I don't like the tone colors or whatever. I would probably upscale this and I would probably put it in black and white. And can you imagine three of these in different um, forms and different faces and you put that in a room? Wow, amazing. And lastly, the best way to get used to any kind of AI generator and trying to create images is just trial and error. Bing is a perfect example. Bing is actually coming out with a paid subscription soon. So if you can get in and get your free credits, because I don't know if they're going to still be offering it, I would highly suggest you would. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to enter my prompt. And again, you have lots of prompt options available for you to trial and error, but we are going to create a little cute um, woman, you know, in New York City drinking her coffee. A great illustration, something that you can definitely put on like a planner cover for Christmas, something you can use as digital art, you know, just in your everyday digital life. There is so many things that you can create and you can do. So let's see what it gives us. So again, beautiful images. Some stuff just looks weird, like her shirt. Um, this one, as you can tell, she has a gazillion amount of fingers, not enough fingers on the other side. But again, this is trial and error. And if you're good with Adobe Photoshop, you can actually change that. Um, her fingers look not too bad and she's not too bad as well. So perfect example of just trialing and error and seeing what you can get. So again, you would then go in and say, okay, let me change it up and I'm going to put something like at Christmas time or Christmas during Christmas time and let's see what kind of image we get next. So this is the images that we're getting now and I think again they're beautiful but again always look at the fine tuned points of everything. If it's just for yourself it's probably no issue but if you're selling this kind of stuff which you cannot do on Bing AI you want to look into detail but beautiful it gives you so many options to choose from look at the cable knit sweater it got that on point this girl she looks like she likes to be thrifting her finger looks a little odd but you can that stuff you can fix but you just have so many options and so many ways that you can try and get the images that you want but you have to actually do hands-on and get in there and practice and i mean the world is your oyster so again, if you like this type of content and this stuff is inspiring to you, I would love if you can follow, like, and save. That would be greatly appreciated. Have a great day. Bye.